when acids are in an aqueous solution, they tend to dissociate, releasing a proton and a negative ion. The weaker the acid, the less protons release to the medium. On the other hand, a stronger acid will have an increased probability of releasing a proton. Acid dissociation is reversible, so the negative ion that is also released during the process can bind to a different proton in the solution, obtaining the original acid. If we dissolve an acid in water, it will start releasing protons, but as soon as this happens, the reverse reaction will occur as well. The result is that the concentrations of acid and its conjugate base will fluctuate until they come to equilibrium. At this point, the concentrations of acid, conjugate base and protons in the solution remain unchanged. If we take the product of the concentration of protons and conjugate base and divide it by the concentration of acid, we obtain the equilibrium constant of the reaction. In this case, this constant is named acidic constant or Ka. This value reflects how strong or weak an acid is. Strong acids have higher Ka values since they have more impact on the proton concentration. On the other hand, weak acids have lower Ka values and we can compare these values between acids to say which ones are stronger or weaker. For instance, by watching the Ka values of acetic and phosphoric acid, we can be sure that the phosphoric acid is the stronger of the two. Ka values have concentration units and tend to be large numbers to read and compare. For simplicity, if we take the negative logarithm of this number, we obtain a new value called pKa, similar to pH, which is the negative logarithm of proton concentration. pKa values are easier to read and compare. In this case, a low pKa is an indicator of a strong acid and vice versa. An interesting scenario is when an acidic solution has a pH equal to the pKa of the acid. In this case, the amount of acid in the solution is equal to the amount of its conjugate base. If the pH of the solution is lower than the pKa, then the amount of acid is higher. The opposite is also true. If the pH is higher than the pKa, the amount of conjugate base will be higher.